Welcome to Kingston! We have arrived in Kingston, Ontario, and one of the best ways to get acquainted with the city is to get on a bus and check it out. So we're gonna hop on the Kingston trolley tour to see all of the top sites and check out where we wanna go back to over the next few days. A trolley tour is one of the top things to do in Kingston and makes for a great introduction to the city. The one-hour tour takes you to all the main attractions as you learn about Kingston's 300-year-old history. You can pick up the trolley tour just beside the tourist information, which is the old train station. And of course, you've got the Kingston sign right behind me here. So it's really easy to find the trolley tour. Make sure you book it in advance though. And uh, you pick up your tickets farther down at 248 Ontario Street. Well, the number one tourist attraction here in Kingston is to visit the Kingston Penitentiary. Probably the worst penitentiary here in Canada that the worst criminals went to. The prison closed in 2013 and now they have tours to go inside the prison. Right now there's a big budget movie filming in there and there's lots of gunshots going on and helicopters flying overhead so we can't go in. But uh, when you do come to Kingston, make sure you take a tour and go inside. has four of the remaining Martello Towers in Canada. There were only 16 built during the War of 1812 and only six remain, four of which are in Kingston. Two of them you can go inside and tour. They are the Murney Tower and Fort Frederick. Martello Towers were round fortresses surrounded by moats built to hold artillery. The roofs were raised and designed to be able to fire 360 degrees. They were quite impenetrable. The interesting thing is none of the ones in Kingston were actually used because it was never invaded. Another fun introduction to the city is to take a walking tour with Arthur Milnes, who has hosted Jimmy Carter himself at his home. He was a speechwriter for Prime Minister Harper and is the local Kingston historian. He has all the insider tips of the city and it's fascinating to pick his brain. He can even show you where one of the tragically hips Junos are on display. When you're walking along the Kingston waterfront, there is a memorial pier dedicated to Gord Downey, who was the lead singer of the Tragically Hip. It's a beloved Canadian rock band and Gord Downey died of cancer a few years ago, but every Canadian knows their songs. The Tragically Hip, they grew up here. Gord Downey grew up just uh, nearby here and uh, they performed their very last concert here that was televised right across Canada for free on the CBC. One of the must things to do here in Kingston is to go on a Thousand Islands cruise. The Thousand Islands actually consist of 1,800 islands that line the river along the U.S.-Canada border. We took the Heart of the Islands cruise that included lunch, live entertainment and commentary. If you book a premium table, you have the luxury of a window seat as you explore the St. Lawrence River. You'll see the military history of Canada's first capital, as well as the Kingston skyline and luxury cottages and retreats on this three-hour journey. Wow, that was great. Well, here is a cool fact. Behind me is the oldest fire department in Canada. Now, today it is a Lone Star, but at one time it was the first fire department in Canada. Remember, Kingston used to be Canada's first capital, so it had everything. Located just three hours from Toronto and Montreal, it's right in the middle and makes for a fantastic retreat. There's a lot of history here being Canada's first capital city. It's located on Lake Ontario, the St. Lawrence and the Rideau Canal, so it has a really unique setting being on all these great bodies of water. Thank you. 
A visit to Kingston, Ontario is really unique because it is a city that is filled with national historic sites and a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The Rideau Canal is right behind me. If you want to come and see a really great view of the canal, come out to the Kingston Mills Canal, which is about 15 minutes from downtown. And it's uh, several locks. I think there's three separate steps down. So it's a real classic view of the lock system here on the Rideau. This is really a city of water. So if you want to do something fun, get out on the water, do some paddling or take a la boat trip and do a trip down the Rideau Canal like we've done. It is so much fun. Well, it says this way to awesome. So we better go in and check it out. Exploring historic downtown Kingston is a must. Many of the original buildings and alleyways are still intact, from the shops on Princess Street to the buildings surrounding the beautiful historic square at City Hall, you can get lost in its architecture. When you visit Kingston, make sure you seek out Martello Alley. It's a historic alleyway that is an artist community, and you can go inside and look for one-of-a-kind pieces of art. Everyone in there is a practicing artist and you can search for something to create memories from your time here in Kingston. Another fantastic alley to explore is Rochelow Alley, which has courtyards, patios, shops, and one of Kingston's most popular restaurants, Shea Piggy. No trip to Kingston would be complete without talking about restaurants. It has one of the most restaurants per capita in all of Canada and everywhere you go there's some great food. Tonight we're eating at Woodenhead which is known for its wood oven pizzas and I'm looking forward to my spicy arrabbiata. Explore the architecture of Queen's University campus. Queen's is one of Canada's oldest universities and has some of the most beautiful historic architecture in Kingston. I just love walking through university campuses. Yeah, the architecture is amazing. They've usually been here for a really long time. And it's always peaceful, a peaceful part of the city to explore. Let's go check out some art. A highlight when visiting the campus is to go to the Agnes Etherington Art Centre where not only one but four Rembrandts are on display, as well as other innovative exhibits of contemporary and historical art. It's free to enter and is considered one of Canada's best museums. And we agree. We enjoyed the eclectic mix of art and highly recommend it for an hour or two in the afternoon. down to the Tet on the waterfront and have lunch at the Juniper Cafe. It is the site of the old brewery here and it's a really cool building. There's some artists, gal art galleries inside and it's just a pleasant uh, stroll along the waterfront and a great place for lunch. It's a beautiful display of modern architecture blending with the old. The Tet is close to the historic district of Portsmouth where the penitentiaries and old factories, mills and brew pubs are located. When you're out at the Kingston Penitentiary or if you're walking along the Kingston Waterfront Trail, make sure to come into the historic town of Portsmouth. This was a booming town in the 1800s. There were tanneries, there were sawmills, and there were breweries. So uh, once everything started building up around the penitentiary, there was a lot going on in this historic town, and it's now a designated historic town. And if you want to have a beer in a historic piece of property, head out here to Portsmouth. Smith Tavern. It's one of the oldest watering holes in the country. Kingston is a city of breweries and one of the quirkier ones we visited was the Daft Brewery. They have some very unique flavors to sample. 
There's a lot of nightlife in Kingston that you can go out to after you've had your meal at all of the several many restaurants. <laughs> a great place is here is Barcadia where you can play some video games or you can head for a lot of the live music venues. One that we recommend is Musical.ly. Go into the backyard and listen to some music. like that we have a jazz bay. You know what's nice is they're actually behind a partition so you can actually talk. When you are ready to sleep, a popular bed and breakfast is the Secret Garden Inn. The downtown location makes for a great base and the manor house setting fits perfectly in this historic city. We have arrived at the Secret Garden Inn, and this is a lovely manor house that has been completely restored. It's walking distance to everything downtown, and uh, it's very charming. And we're overlooking the pretty garden. So those are all the cool things to do in Kingston, Ontario, a city that really surprised us. If you enjoyed this video on the best things to do in Kingston, Ontario, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel because we put up new videos every week.